Oh wait, was that the intro? Yeah. Let me just say. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. This video isn't about you, but we have to just we just have to look at you for a minute. So today, I guess, is not. Someone's hungry. So today we are actually in preparation mode for my mother's Christmas gift, okay? So my mom has her birthday, which is actually today, and Christmas like a few days apart. And so we always have to do something separate. If you're a Christmas kid, you know, you gotta have separate presents. And so we did her birthday this morning, and then today we are prepping for her Christmas gift. Now it's a little late, I know. I should have done this probably like a month ago, right? But I didn't. So we're gonna clean up Bo, who is our oldest horse. He's 23, he's homebred, we've had him his entire life, and do a photo shoot of him because she wants a photo of him in her home. So let's clean him up. <laughs> I accidentally gouged him right there. Like not to the skin, just the hair. So that's fun. Way above my skill level of fixing that. So y'all can edit, right? You can edit? Probably. I'll render a whole new leg on him. It'll just be a new horse. Just a new horse. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like one black leg. Good thing Bo's freaking broke. I'm like climbing up underneath him. Yeah, I keep telling the guys, I'm like, hey, if you go film other people's horses, don't do the sh stuff that I do. The sh stuff. Yesterday, my dad was so awkward. He was like, hey, Abigail, we love you. And I was like, I mean, we do, Abigail, but like, that was weird. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be doused. I am gonna be so doused in white hair by the end of this because I'm gonna curry him. Um, obviously, he's a, he's a woolly mammoth right now, which he should be, it's the winter. But taking pictures of him and getting him nice and, and also it's too cold to bathe him. So like, you know, it's just, we're doing it for the, it, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna groom him, but I'm not bathing him. So like, currying is like the circular motions and then brushing is this. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna do your nose? I usually use a 40 blade on their nose. Like y'all, I do know how to trim a show horse. This is like trying to do a fade, okay? I can't. Also, I apologize for like my non-ending baby voice that I talk to my animals in. I can't control it. It's a sickness. Okay, now it's time to curry. Um, it's about to get wild. Bo's not gonna get wild. Bo probably won't move, honestly. But the hair that's about to be off of his body and wafting through there is gonna be wild. Okay, your face, it looks okay, but you don't even understand. Look at, okay. Look already how much hair just came off of him. Oh my gosh. Luckily, you won't have a halter on for any of these pictures, so I don't want a halter mark. Let's just try to get you a little. Does that feel good? Oh my goodness. better that already looks. Look at how much like less, I don't know, gross you look. So I'm gonna douse him in some show sheen and brush him. I'll probably do this a couple times and then I'm gonna work on his mane and tail. Now his tail, unfortunately, is just, I don't really foresee his tail being the, the forefront of pictures because we're trying to get like his, you know, his head and him running. His tail could be wider. I should have honestly washed it. But you know, hindsight's 2020. It's been busy. So I don't want to get it too greasy because we're like literally about to take pictures of him. But I'll put a little, little detangler in there. It's been a minute since it's been washed. Looks a little brassy. Need a little purple shampoo. It's okay. Oh, you have so much, look at all this baby hair coming up. Bobo. He used to have really, really thick mane, and I, look, it's coming in thicker again, but like I said, we, we put him out with all these baby horses, 
and they would just go to town on his mane. I hated it. And I didn't want to braid it because I felt like if I put it into a braid, it's way easier for them to just chew on one big chunk. You know, like they could just get a hold of a braid and just rip it off. Good mane and tail. I never saw his daddy in person. My mom and dad went out to the farm when they were picking the stallion to breed Libby too. And he was a black and white paint. All right, I have the treats, mister. Whoa. We just can't let him go forward. Whoa. I have the treats. You go that direction, and I need you to make a, like, really big, like, maybe take your hat off and whatever, because it's that he needs, because he needs to look that direction. He's always looking this direction. So I'm going to walk him, but then try to get his attention your direction. Okay, so we didn't have any loose horses, which was good. Now we're going to go outside. We have a vision for a running shot of him coming like up to us. So we're going to try to execute that. So let's go to paddock number two. Right to the hay. So a little bit about Mr. Bo here. So Bo was born and raised on this farm. Um, his mother, her name was Libby, was actually an anniversary gift from my dad to my mom back in the day. And so I, you know, I wasn't old enough to remember all of this myself. So I've just been told these stories, but my mom had gone out to this breeding farm. And I'm not quite sure if the stallion she went out to look at was a paint or not. His mother was actually just a bay quarter horse. and she saw this really young paint and she just liked him better. She said he was only three years old at the time. He hadn't really gone and done anything yet, but she liked his confirmation. She liked his movement. And at the time she was actually kind of looking more towards barrel horse breeding because that's what they were doing at the time. And so we bred him and then he was born and he just did not want to go fast. He did not want to be a barrel horse. He had the prettiest flat leg. And so he was our first homebred all around horse. So we showed him in the pleasure, we showed him in the English. He was really good at, you know, extending and then slowing back down for the pleasure. And then he even pleasure drove, meaning he pulled a cart. Um, I showed him as a young kid. He was born when I was four years old. So we kind of grew up together. And he's just one of those horses that like, we gotta keep him, you know? He's like the good boy that people that don't ride, we, we let them ride him because we know he's gonna take care of them. He's the one that everyone loves his personality. He gets along with everyone in the pasture. He's just, he's unreplaceable, you know? And so now he's 23 years old and he, it's safe to say he's the only horse in the barn that does not have a price tag, truly. Um, and so he's just, I think he's everyone in our family's heart horse. You know, it's, he's funny. He's the one that my dad calls his horse still. Like my dad doesn't care about the horses anymore as far as riding them and stuff. You know, he'll help with the foaling, but Bo is the only one that he's like, that's my horse. So everyone loves Bo Bo. And this was just kind of a, you know, he's 23, about to be 24. It just kind of felt that we needed to, while he still looks all majestic and he is still an easy keeper, he doesn't miss a meal. We wanted to take a picture while he's still like so majestic and gorgeous. So we got tons today. This is gonna be my mom's Christmas present. Um, we're going to blow it up for a huge picture in her home, and I'll probably have some in my home as well. We all just love him so much. So the markings on his side, we've always joked that it looks like a praying baby. Like when you look at it right on, I know some people say an eagle. Like it's so funny with paint horses looking at their markings and trying to find pictures within it. So that's the funny thing we always say is that he has a praying baby on his side. Like this or like this? However. 